Oh god, okay. Oh. Oh god, yes. Uh, I'm sorry, I just- oh god. Okay. Oh god, what's- what's gonna happen? Oh god, there's a freaking countdown? Oh- oh god. Okay, I wanna cancel, please. Just wanna- I wanna cancel. No. I can't? Uh, oh lord. Oh lord, it's happening. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, hey, what's up guys? Don't worry about that robot. I used him for like five minutes and then blew him up. Whatever. So, we have this bunker thing here. I don't know what it is. So, it looks pretty empty. It's got a chemistry station and a weapons workbench. But supposedly the, the, the main feature here is the combat simulator. So, let's see what this, this does. I don't know. I'm kind of scared. Uh, let me see what kind of weapons I have here. Um, huh. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna use that freeze winter blade thing. So yeah, let, let's let's get into it. Okay, so I don't know how to use this or if it's working, but I think it's just a whole bunch of freaking enemies that are just kind of like just frozen in place, and you have to blow them up. I don't know. Uh, not the greatest combat simulator, but, uh, let's, let's see what happens. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know, I guess, just, let's just okay. attack them, or talk to them, or something, I don't know, um, I just want to see if they'll move. Okay, that's where we came from. There's a wall there, and just a whole bunch of naked raiders. All right, that's wonderful. All right, um, huh? Is there like a button to like unfreeze them or something? Cause I don't, I don't know. It's not really a combat simulator because I don't know. Just kind of looking all over the area here, and there's like. Like nothing here. All right, whatever. I'm just gonna. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. They're not really attacking me. I don't know. There's a vertebrate up there. Um. Hmm. Not, not, not really a good combat simulator, but I don't know, uh, maybe there's like a button somewhere that I'm not seeing to like, activate them, but yes. Okay, so, remember this Merv launcher thing? I finally figured out how to use it. Uh, so, pretty much you aim down sights, you lock onto the target, right? And then you shoot it. And then, instead of just going wherever, it actually goes right down with deadly precision and accuracy right on the freaking target. It's amazing. And so that literally just blew up the guy here or something. I don't know. What the frick? Hey. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> um, let's, yeah, let's see. Let's test it again. So, you have lock on and shoot and it just blows stuff up so really really cool so um yeah just tons of dead bodies all right so what else can we do um i don't know blow more people up with this i guess <laughs> Oh my god, they like, they like, freaking respawn, too. Like, I don't know. Um. Hmm. Where's that one thing at? There it is. Or no, there it is. Yeah. Here. So I do know how to use this thing now, too. So in, pretty much it's about the same thing. You just... You, uh, lock on. And you shoot. 
and it kind of goes around the area where they are, so. And it's not just, like, randomly firing everywhere, setting things on fire. It actually can go places, yay. So, um, let's just keep blowing these guys up, I guess. Oh my god. Yeah, pretty pretty powerful once you know how to use it. So yeah, that's how you use those. Okay, so this game's glitched. For some reason, people now hate um June Long here, or whatever the freak his name is, and literally just people think he's an enemy now for some reason. I don't know why. Um. I think it's because I was uh, playing. I was playing with this one mod that like you can kind of make anyone your companion by equipping a ring to them, like an actual like ring. And uh, I kind of unquipped him or something from it, and I don't know. Like people seriously think he's an enemy. Um, and I'm trying to see if I can trade again with him and maybe like. Unglitch this. this. Hey there. But I can't really do that when people are trying to kill him. Yeah, it won't let me talk with him, so I'm trying to freaking maybe freeze everyone. Um, just freeze everyone. Just strong. Now dog meat's attacking him. Oh my God, dog meat. I'm sorry, but <sighs> freaking that guy is really attacking him. Um, okay. I think Sturge is okay, because I, I, I equipped him with the ring, and I don't think he's, like, trying to attack anyone, so, okay, um, oh god, dog, dog meat, dog, dog meat, what the frick are you doing? Get off of him. Oh my god, dog meat, dog meat is completely immune to being frozen solid, I guess, okay, um, I don't know, just freeze everyone, Sturge's. I don't know anymore, um, oh, he's dead, did I kill him, I think I killed him, oh god, um, god frick, this is freaking, this is your fault, X6, this, this is all your fault, because you were the first to attack him, oh my god, okay, so for the house mod, kind of, that we have here, uh, it's kind of crazy, this, it's not really a house mod, it's more like just a freaking settlement house mod, and pretty much you can find it here at the South Boston Military Checkpoint. It's right here, there on the map, and it's kind of near the castle. Yeah, it's right near, it's right next to the castle. And yeah, so, it's kind of in this bunker right here, and you can kind of know the what it is by this message thing that keeps playing over and over again. So to get into it, I think, yeah, this door here, it, this is supposed to be a door, but for some reason it's not working. I cannot enter at all. It just will not let me. The mod description says, like, look for a blue door inside the bunker, and I'm guessing this is the door. And it doesn't work. So the only r the only way you can get in is by fast traveling there. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to fast travel. All right. Yeah, it's called Missile Silo Settlement. So yeah. All right. So yep. Yeah, I'll see you guys there. Okay. So we're in, and this is supposedly this is supposed to be a door that you kind of get in, and, um, pretty much actually if you fast travel, you'll actually go into, like, a whole new other area than this, but I just, I just wanted to start from here, where you would start if the door works. So, alright, long freaking hallways. And, uh, there's supposed to be enemies, I think, a few of them. 
throughout this place, but I kind of cleared it out already. Yeah, that's why there's this power armor here or something. I don't know where the frick it came from. I think an enemy was wearing it and then got out. I don't know. And, um... Yeah, I just... Some random enemy. Alright, so... Um, to be able to get in this place... The door's already unlocked for me. But I think you would have to use the terminal and it's a hack master... So, but I can just open it. It's one of these security doors. It takes forever to open, but you know. And then, yeah, on the other side, you have this thing. It says uh, lock or unlock door, but it's already unlocked. So, and then, um, so we have this door, which is a master. No way pick lock, but I don't have that right now. So, really, that 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 right there is a shortcut. But if you don't have it, then you'll just have to like, freaking go down this big, huge flight of stairs. And I don't really want to do that, so I'm just gonna use one of my superpowers, void, and um, make myself God mode real quick. Yeah, it's a pretty big flight of stairs. Yeah, and then if you want to, you can try to jump back up. But, yeah, it's kind of hard. So let's cure that. And, uh, yeah, let's go. And so we have this area. I'm trying to remember. Alright, yeah. Okay, so over here... This is this is the area you would spawn at if you fast traveled, and I don't really get this area. I don't know. It's just kind of like a building area, just a empty building area. You can just build a house or something if you want. Maybe I don't know. Underground house. So there's that. And uh, so let's yeah, this door here. So, this takes forever to open, of course, but, you know. And then you open this, and then, uh, we're gonna save upstairs for later. So, we're gonna open this door, and this leads into a... Kind of a living quarters, kind of... Looks like a vault, really. <laughs> So, literally, you're just, like, into a bunker, and then you're into a vault or something. So, this place is kind of just, like, a little living place. Uh, this is a storage area with some weapons, T-60 power armor. And then over here, you got the living area where all the beds are and containers. Um, and then over here, we got some showers bathroom stuff and then on the other side we have what is over here actually um oh a, a kind of a kitchen area uh, a little kind of never little living area a television doesn't work and then in here we have yeah, more bathroom shower stuff. It's kind of like the office, I guess, maybe? I don't know. This kind of like a one-person kind of area, I think, really. But we got some pillows. Oh my god, I love pillows. Uh, and then some more terminals and stuff. Alright. Uh, so let's go back. And, um, yeah, let's go upstairs. The upstairs is the fun part. <laughs> so, alright, so let's go up here. Uh, let's close this door. Yeah, they, they, they open a lot slower than they close. So, yeah, let's just, let's just get on right up here. 
All right. So this door is already open. I don't know if it would be open or not, but it's open. So, and here we are at the top. Not really, but look at this thing. This thing is amazing. This is the main missile silo, actually. And this place is huge. And you got your own little freaking elevator thing. And this, oh my god, this looks so cool. You got your own freaking rocket. And a freaking hatch area to launch the rocket. It's it's amazing. Uh, so let's... Let's go explore the little area we have over here. So... Some dead people. Some more dead people. And a, uh... Little control room here. Uh, what's in here? We have a bathroom in here. Yep. Alright. So... Some more terminals, a safe. Uh, we have a terminal, which, like, kind of crazy. You got DEFCON status and fire status. Pretty much says you can launch it whenever you want. You got weapons hot, weapons cold. System shut down, which doesn't really work. Uh... And then, you have the start engine button, but... Warning. Fuel depleted. Engine core is offline. Yeah. <laughs> you can't launch the rocket, unless there's some... So, somehow you can... You can, but you have to, like, refuel it or something somehow. I don't know. But I, I doubt that would be a thing, because that would be way too hard to try and, uh, make. So for some reason, this, this, this other little area over here has, like, three doors. And, you know, th the secured doors take forever, but then we have this missile door, which pretty much opens immediately. So I don't know why you need those doors there, but... Yeah, so over here we got some missiles. Um, uh, I don't know what the frick that is, that's kind of weird looking. I don't know. It's an engine missile thing. We got a war, we got warheads, warhead on the missile. Uh, got some mini nukes, tons of mini nuke crates, and uh, fusion core generator, and some more fusion cores over here. A whole bunch of just workbench kind of stuff. You know, you gotta work on the rockets. Uh, this is that other door from the beginning, so, it, again, it's a shortcut to just go straight to here if you don't want to go the long way. So let's just shut these doors back. Alright, there we go. And, uh, this little, like, um... The little red thing up there is actually, you can, there's actually a red, like, door just like that outside of this place. And I don't know if the mod added that or if that was already there. So, really, if it was already there, then this place, this place down here is kind of canon and actually a place. Like an actual missile silo, but pretty much this mod just adds... The, the actual interior of it so you can actually explore around in it so that's really cool and uh, yeah I'm, I'm actually going to show you guys what's outside so all right so pretty much we're outside and we have a red crane so just look for the red crane and um, jump up here and we have the exact same red metal door so that's really crazy. Alright, so... I forgot to show you guys this last vid. But pretty much this is the... Castle remastered or something. 
and I don't know what's going on with the, all this. It's kind of glitched out a little bit. But once you're inside, it looks really nice. All the walls are pretty much fixed up. It's all green, grass area, and trees are looking great again. Um, I don't know why this is all glitched up here. It's kind of weird. You kind of have to, like, jump on it. It might still be a little awkward because of this turret here. This, the placement there, so... It might mess the mod up, but, um, yeah. Alright, here we are. So, as soon as you walk in, it's pretty much all green grass. The walls are all fixed. There's like a little, well, not little, pretty big freaking note here by the uh, mod developer just saying thanks and all that, so, um, you got the radio stuff, you got a big tree, you got, um, interiors and all that, that's kind of all the same, you can come up here, and you got all four little corners of the place, um, Kind of all this other stuff is pretty much the same, but, um, the grass and the walls and all that are kind of rebuilt. Uh, the floor here is kind of glitchy, I don't know why. Um, what else do we have? Another little area over here. Ammo box. And then if we come over here, we got some stairwells that we can come up here to. And, uh, I'm trying to figure... Where is the, uh, cannon guy at? Um, I'm always forgetting where the, he is. Um, yeah, not over there. So he's over on the other side. Okay, now... Is he over here? Yeah. There he is. There is my artillery guy. But yeah, that's pretty much about it of the castle remake. Revamp, I think it's called. So yeah, a really nice place. Alright, so we got some aid mods here. And uh, this, literally, this guy literally added in... Uh, craftable and usable freaking cigarettes and crap. It's kind of weird, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a reason to collect cigarette boxes and cigar boxes now. And so, you know, I have a, I have a cigar box, and I can craft 12 cigars out of that. And you also need a flip lighter, so you can craft those as well. So you can just craft a whole bunch. And then you have the cigars, which slow down time for three minutes. Yeah, three seconds. One strength, one uh, charisma for five minutes. So, pretty good. No uh, negative effects. So, that's kind of weird. And, yeah, it's one, one cigar, and uh, you need a flip lighter. So, then you have the cigarette. It slows down time for three seconds. One agility, one, in one intelligence for three minutes. Then you have the methanol cigarette, which slows down time for three seconds. One agility, 25 damage resistance, and 250 poison resistance. Wow. And, uh, you also need a medex for this one. To craft it. So. And, uh, I think... Isn't that it? Or is there another one? Um... There might be another one. Yes, there is. Okay. So... This one slows down time for 15 seconds. 
two charisma for seven minutes. So, uh, this can be used for, like, a jet kind of thing, so you can, like, slow down time. But, yeah, that's about it on the tobacco area. Yeah, kind of crazy. And, uh, we also have another mod that creates more alcohol drinks. So we got tons of stuff here. So first of all, we got the boiler maker, one beer, one whiskey, for two strength, one intelligence, like the minus, and one charisma. Kind of pretty good. Um, kind of standard, really. Um, then we have the bourbon and cola. One Bourbon and one Nuka-Cola, two Endurance, two Strength, and minus one Intelligence. Which is literally like all drinks, but... <laughs> Cape Cod, uh, one, one Tarberry, one Vodka, max HP of 50, one Strength, and minus one Intelligence, of course. And, um, we also have... The da Daiquiri, uh, Deezer's Lemonade, wow, that's kind of rare, you can only get that at, uh, Concord, so, or not Concord, um, Covenant. And takes one rum, max HP for 15, one strength, minus one intelligence, and two agility. Then we have the Dirty Martini for one dirty water, one vodka, one wine. Two agility, one perception, and minus one intelligence. Oh, and a max uh, action point AP for uh, 25. And then we have the hurricane, one mutt fruit, one Nuka Cola, two rum, two agility, two strength, minus two intelligence, and a max, max HP for 35. This thing's crazy. So, John Redcorn. This thing's insane. It takes pretty much about everything. Bourbon, corn, melon, mutt fruit, nuka cherry, rum, tarberry, vodka, whiskey. Okay, that's it. So, it literally takes tons of stuff. Minus five intelligence. And three strength, three charisma, three agility, and three endurance. So, I mean, it's pretty good. <laughs> it takes a lot of, lot of supplies. So, then we have the Manhattan, one whiskey, one wine, three strength this time, and minus one in intelligence, and you get one charisma. Rum and Coke, pretty much. Rum and Coke, two agility, two strength, minus one intelligence. A screwdriver, one mutt fruit, one vodka, max HP 35, strength 2, minus 1 intelligence. And then we have the vodka watermelon. This is weird. It takes a melon, of course. One, uh, two vodka, max HP for 50, 2 strength, and minus 2 intelligence. So all together, this adds tons and tons of different drinks. And, um... I think that's about it. All that's vanilla game. Yeah. So, again, all these, um, the cigarettes and the, um, the drinks, they all have the same kind of things as any other drugs or drinks you can get addicted, I think. So, just a warning there. But, yeah, really, really helpful, um, aids. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. I'm rocking out some new raider armor. Um, just crafted all this stuff. So yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Leave a like, because if I don't, if you don't, then YouTube is probably just gonna throw this in the garbage later. But, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Peace.